currently underway in Jurassic South, Nakuru County. The hundreds of runners braving the rains in the hope of scooping cash prizes. Participants are taking part in three race categories. That's from 5, 10 and 15 kilometers. So the aim of the race is actually to identify and nurture talent. Jeff, a very good morning. Um, how are things going there? Uh, Malika, uh, actually, it's a very good morning here at the Caring Kit. Actually, this is, K this is uh, K uh, Kuresoi South, uh, the uh, Nakuru County, county number 32. We are at Amalo Secondary School, just on the other side. Uh, we are waiting for the 15 kilometers race to start from here at Amalo all the way to uh, Ndabibit, from here to Bombo to Taku. Uh, Takuet, then Kapkuen, then the beat. That's where it's going to end. But also, on the other side, uh, where it's going to end, there's a cross country underway at the moment. So we, are, we will cross over to that side also to see what's happening there and give the results. But now, here, this marathon actually is the first to be held by the Nakuru County. Previously, it's been held here, but it's been held by the constituencies, that's the Member of Parliament, organizing and ensuring that uh, the, 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 the athletes are just turning up, the athletes from these, the constituencies previously. But now, it's crossing over 15 kilometers on the other side. It's covering actually two, key, two constituencies. That's from Nakuru County. Nakuru County is just trying to bring out... Uh, 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 athletes from this area, athletes have come from Nakuru town, by the way, to take part in this, uh, in this uh, uh, race, 15 kilometers race. There are many places from, from Olenguron here, there are athletes who have turned out from the Bibit also, there are athletes who have turned out uh, from uh, Molo, there are athletes who have turned out. On your way to Molo, you'll see, you find athletes actually warming up as we are coming here. To, to, to see the starting point. But also, we will actually be telling you how, how this thing is going to turn out. But again, the results are very, very, very crucial. And they matter so much for in terms of building athletes from the grassroots and making sure that you are develop, de developing talent and, and ensuring that these athletes grow or become professional in terms of uh, athletics as much as, at least, as much as athletics as concerned. And they can be the next Kipchoge, the next uh, Beatrice Chipkoech, the next... Actually, Beatrice Chipkoech comes from across here. A few kilometers from here is Beatrice Chipkoech primary school, where she went to school. So most at least here, they are very, very much excited uh, to see this thing happen for the first time uh, up and, and underway under the Nakuru County. On the other side, you can see on the other side, the security is tied. You have a sound system by the county government. You're expecting the county government uh, um, governor, uh, that is Lee Kinyanjui, to be here shortly. Uh, we're going to talk to him. He will, he will turn up for, for this. And then behind that system is an ambulance which will ensure that in case of any accident, injury, or anything that happens to an athlete here or anybody who is part of this uh, carrying it, a race is uh, taken care of in, in any injury that can be rushed to the hospital, given first aid first. Uh, those are the... Uh, things that you should be making sure that you have them on the ground security. And this road that you're seeing cars passing by will be closed shortly. And just in the next 20 minutes, will be closed for the race to start here. Then they go to for 15 kilometers. But I'm also joined here by one of the coaches who is taking care of that, uh, some of the athletes, training them and ensuring that they, 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 they are up to speed and they, 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 are, they are okay or they are good in terms of this, as, as much as this 15 kilometers race is concerned. But he'll tell us also how much... How, how long he has been doing this and what is his expectation out of this race and how many athletes he has actually in this race and what does he expect out of them. Sir, good morning and welcome to KT News. Uh, we are doing the Kerrigit race. You are here this morning. You have at least maybe how is the preparation so far and what have you seen? Because we were here by 5 in the morning. It didn't start in the time that it was expected to, be, to, to start by that was by 7. But I'm seeing athletes, warm, athletes warming up um, since 8. Up to now, we're almost off on to this race. What's your take on this and what are, how are the preparations so far? Okay, um, my name is Charles Ngeno, uh, an athletic coach. This field we have been doing for a very long time, since 2010. Uh, one time we have been taking athletes internationally. But uh, here in Keringet, we have a lot of athletes, the strong ones, and uh, we believe it to be the main source of uh, the champions. We have people like Faith Chemgetich, who, was, uh, who is an Olympic champion, who was coming, is coming around here. We have a Boston champion like uh, Geoffrey Kirui and the rest. So in the morning we were supposed to ask as, as early as it was scheduled, but uh, due to challenge of the rain, 
you know this place sometimes is very cold, so we were still buying time to get a favorable uh, weather condition for the athletes. So in the next few minutes, we hope we will, we will start. So athletes are very much prepared, and uh, also we have to thank the county government because they are on focus to see that they, they nurture the talent by all means, by organizing such an event, so that uh, at the end of the day, one or two athletes will benefit from this event. So we are really appreciating. So uh, for, for, we, don't, we are sorry for the challenges of the rain. It happens. We actually, we have rained on from Nakuru to this place, only that we had an advantage of having a car from the company that is KT News. But we are asking you, how many athletes do you have in this race as a coach? And what are your expectations in terms of those athletes, how they are going to perform today? Okay, specifically, I have more than 50 athletes in this race. Um, I hope to have them uh, at least on top positions. Although I see the race is now very tough, people from Kericho, people from Bomet, people from all over the country are now here. They are now very much ready to see that uh, they want to, to win the race. So the race is not so simple as we think. But for the athlete I have at the moment, I think there is hope. I saw it's very hilly, 15 kilometers hilly all the way to Ndabibit. It's not going to be easy for the athletes who are going to take part of it. But again, it's a race. Next time, maybe we'll be having a marathon 21, 42. Then we can call it, how do you call it now, carrying gets marathon? Of course. <laughs> uh, I think uh, in the future we might be having a long distance uh, race like a marathon. We might call it Keringet Marathon or uh, Nakur County Marathon. Okay, the terrain is too hilly, but it is good for the athletes to prove their um, strength, their stamina, and also it is good for preparation for other future races. So this is a perfect and a very nice uh, course. Dreams are very valid for the coach here, and he believes that maybe someday we'll be having a marathon, carrying it marathon, Nairobi County marathon, Nakuru County, I mean marathon. Who knows? But I'm also joined here by the CC uh, for sports here, the Minister for Sports in Nakuru County. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for coming. It's been a hard time for you to, to come from Nakuru all the way here. Actually, you've just arrived. How, how, how do you feel now that you, this thing is on? As we, maybe actually I thought it's not going to happen. Early in the morning, nobody was here. Thank you. Uh, thank you. My name is Engineer Lucy Karaoke, the CC for Sports, Gender, Culture, and Social Services, and Youth, and Nakuru County. I'm very happy that finally we are here. In the morning, the weather was a little bit uh, tough for us. The, there was rain here, and we were not also so sure what time we uh, were going to start. That delayed us a little and has uh, caused us to change a little because we wanted to start with the cross country for the boys and girls under 20s. But we have reorganized our program and we're starting our 15 kilometers road race. Uh, we're very happy. Uh, the, today we expect to see 15 kilometers road race for both men and women. We have 10 kilometers for both men and women. And we also did not, uh, because our theme for this, uh, for this road race is developing and nurturing young talent. So we would not uh, leave out uh, the young talents, and that is why we came up with a cross country. You understand that uh, the AK rules do not allow under-20s to run on the road, on the tarmac road. So we had to really organize for them something. And we have a cross country for boys under 20, 8 kilometers and six kilometers for girls under 20. So we are really excited. We are happy. And uh, we know that uh, our prize money, we are told, is very good. And uh, that is why it has attracted a lot of people from Nakuru County and neighboring uh, counties all over the country. We have a good registration, and uh, we are expecting a beautiful day today. Uh, as a county, for some time we've had these uh, races in under constituencies. Now, for the first time, we're having under the county. Has the county thought of sports economy? Because we have athletes here from this area, region. They have many of them, young athletes, but who can make it to the top? And these athletes, when they go to the top there, they can come back and also invest in this county and bring you back the money that they ha you have spent in terms of nurturing them. Also, we'll be having businesses running all over, all the way from here, carrying it, Olenguruan, all the way to Ndabibi, to even to Nakuru, count, to, to Nakuru town. 
Uh, we are very happy. We want to say that the altitudes in here, Kiringit, has very favorable conditions for athletes that come. Uh, so we have really national and international athletes from this county. And uh, His Excellency, the governor, has a passion for developing young talents and uh, young uh, the youth that are coming up. And for that particular reason, uh, we have chosen Kerenget as a county government to develop a sports academy. Kerenget Sports Academy that will be based in Kerenget, a few meters away from Kerenget Centre. And we're coming up with an academy that uh, uh, locals and also national and international would be coming to train. Just as a, uh, as a, as a uh, point of information, we have already purchased land as a county government. 20 acres land is already uh, purchased and it's in, in our custody now. We have sent designers and uh, we have already had uh, uh, very good designs coming up there. The BQs are being done and very soon, within the next few weeks, we'll be launching the construction of the Sports Academy. This is in, in the effort that uh, every young and, and, and old talent will be developed within these areas, within Akuru County. We are able to take all the youth from other, uh, other sub-counties, not, not necessarily Kuresoi uh, South sub-county. We'll, they'll be coming to that academy. And we know that as Nakuru County, we are the next uh, county to watch. I know the counties that have branded themselves as uh, uh, the nurturing uh, athletes, but Watch out, Nakuru County, we are coming and I'm sure within the next few years we will be among uh, or we will be the top county that has produced athletes both nationally and internationally. So this is in an effort we want to make Nakuru County a sports hub and uh, in that we will uh, improve sports tourism within the county. Thank you so much. That is the CEC Sports Nakuru County telling us actually they are going to, they have just put under their plans underway on to ensure that they tap talents right now before it's too late. And this is actually a positive threat to counties like uh, uh, West Ngeshi, which is next to Nakuru County, and also to Nandi and Elge Marko, that they are going to start something which may be bringing more athletes from around this area, from Molo to other, to other, to other areas, to ensure that these, uh, these athletes ensure that they get to the point of uh, professionalism and grow and develop their lives and develop their lives and people who are around them. But also, I'm joined here by one of the athletes, uh, a legend, by the way, and he's going to tell us how today feels for him and what is his expectation. He's been warming up here for some time now. Let's see what he has to say to us. Mze, abari asubui. Uko salama kabisa? Kabisa. Au miamuka viema? Kabisa. Naona na napige mazoezi kidogo kidogo na jaribu kupasha misuli moto. Kukuna ndaji uko? Tuseme kufupi. Kwaza ni kumshukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa kuniamusha. Na kunieta upande huwa moro kerget. Nikasema nitashirikiana na waro wengine ambao watakuwa nakimbia katika kaunti hii ya Nakuru. Na kwanza nitasema majina yangu naitwa Peter Macharia kutoka Bahati. Subkanti ya Nakuru katika shania sub location. Na mimi ni mwana riadha, si mwana siasa. Kwa vile wengi wanasema mimi ni mwana siasa lakini mimi nasema mimi ni mwana riadha. Kwa vile mimi napenda riadha kwa kusema kweli. Na tuseme Mbiyo nyingi nimeza kimbia. Nimeza kimbia dakaine na salari shattered ya our first ready market kenyata biodi zero kwa miaka miwili na sasa nimeza enda kakamega nimeza enda edoret. Kama hii t-shirt ambao nimeza faa ni ya masters. Ambao tulikimbia talahe 27 mwesu wa ine mwaka huu uko edoret. Mze, labda leo unatarajia nini katika mbio hizi? Umejiunga leo katika mbio hizi za Keringet ambazo ni kilomita kuminatano kutoka hapa Hadi nda bibita uh, primary school ama shule ya upili shule ya msingi ya nda bibit Unatarajia nini labda siku ya leo mbali na hizo mbio zingine umekimbia? Ok, tuseme kwa fupi mbio za leo e, Kwa vile nimesha jitahidi Mbio naona ninaweza kuibuka mshidi kwa mbio hizo Na ujue ya kwamba mimi nakibizana na vijana Na ujue vijana damu yao ni moto Na mimi ni mzee Lakini upande ya mzee hata mimi pia huwa na jitahidi na paka mzee lazima haya maziwa ah si ndio lazima nijiingize pale kwa vile unajua mbio ni ujezi moja wa mwili ukifanya mazoezi 
kitu cha kwanza unajenga mwili yako na usipofanya mazoezi unaona unakaa kama ile maji tunaita stagnant water unajua hayo maji ukiyakunywa yatakuletea nini yatakuletea magonjwa lakini ukinywa muto ambayo inateremka ni kama vile mzee anafanya anafanya mazoezi sasa tu magonjwa kidogo kidogo zinaanza kukuondokea asante sana mzee mashari tunakutakia kila laheri unapojiandaa katika mashindano haya ya mbio za marathon na mbio za kiringet um, Uh, back to you, Malika is uh, we will be giving you updates about what is happening here positive energy and sentiments from Zema Sharia you hope that it will become the winner of this uh, 15 kilometers race from here to Ndabi Beat as I told you earlier we are starting at Amalo Secondary School here at Olenguruoni Kureso in south and it will take 15 kilometers all the way to Bombo to Tanduet and then Kipkwen then the Bibit primary school that's where they will the, the, the rest will end and also we have cross country underway on the other side we'll be crossing over to give you the details and updates about what's happening on the other side but for now Malika Kazia back to your studio and I'll be back in a bit thank you